this Friday only at the Red Door in Clovis, New Mexico, the Hip Slingers, Desert Flames, and Travelin' Trav's Transrational Blues. Come on, y'all. Ebflow, boot tech, ambio. Thank you, Mr. Eb Flo, for allowing Travel and Trav to bring his voice to your album. Uh, please check out Eb's new album. It's called Boom Tech Ambio. There's some really cool stuff on there. Tune in to the odd meters that he that he lays down. Boom Tech, Boom Tech Ambio, Eb Flo. The way he uh, flows over that, the way Eb flows <laughs> over his... Uh, over those odd time signatures that he's um, throwing down. And sometimes it seems like the, it, it, well, there's, there's just a lot of change going on, a lot of flow happening in the music. So yeah, please go to Apple Music and search Boom Tech Ambio. Please support Eb and his family. Speaking of family, this Friday in Clovis, New Mexico, live dancing at Red Door on Main, Desert Rhythms Gala. 17th of May, 2024, 7 p.m. The Hip Slingers. And also, check this out, y'all. Fire. The Desert Flames. I haven't got to see them yet, but I've, I've gotten to meet with Melissa Adams a couple of times, and she's told me about her fire dancing, and I'm, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Yes, back to the family thing. I sure am grateful to know this family. This powerful, artistic couple of the Eastern High Plains, Ebflo and Yoli Chavez. Thanks, Yoli, for the introduction to the dance team. I love to see that creative nature in all of you. And that's part of this, it's a big part of this Travel and Trav project is seeing the light in you, acknowledging that and celebrating that light and that life in you and your community. Thank you for inviting Travel and Trav into your community. I do always want to thank all of you who open up your life and hearts to Travel and Trav. Apparently, we seem to find it mutually beneficial, and that's good to see. It's good to experience. We truly have been discovering together our common work, the great work of the revolution of love that's happening as we speak. <laughs> you know it. One thing that I've been recovering from is this compulsion to be sweet and nice. And what I've been discovering is something else in me over these last several years, over the last six years possibly, after I got out of a marriage in which I had to soften um, all of my edges to make a woman um, feel safe. Both of us having come from painful upbringings, uh, both of us dealing with our own neurosis. So uh, I didn't really have the, the you know, a, a true compassionate, generous masculinity to share with her because I didn't really know that in myself. And over many, many years, that has been discovering, that, that has been being discovered that has been discovered in me, or it is still being discovered, certainly. But the way I experience that is there's this, it's, it's, a, it's a confidence in my strength when I'm around people. And I don't, I don't have to make my face into a, into a sweet, kind, listening face. Although sometimes it is like that still. Um, I'm not saying that I've eliminated a certain character from my life it, completely because I, I am dynamic. That's part, of, that's part of what it's like to be me is I have different characters and I, I, I flow in and out of different states of being. Um, so I, I've discovered this, this strength, this compassionate, ferocious, generous, gentle strength. And this is one of the great treasures that this this is part of the treasure that I've been unearthing uh, for many years now. The music that you've been listening to under my speaking are my compositions. I would love it if you would come visit this playlist. It's a way that you and I might become acquainted with one another. Uh, I have years and years layers of composition in this playlist, and I'm still bringing things into it, and I'll be changing it. 
but I believe it's a good way for us to get to know each other. It's a good way for you to understand where I'm coming from. Um, you can you can see that I I'm a multi instrumentalist. I'm a composer. I'm a singer songwriter. Uh, also uh, a poet. Certainly a lover of the word and a uh, a lover of wisdom of uh, philosophia. <laughs> yes. So uh, I hope my my hope has always been truly since I was a young man, that my music would bring healing somehow into this world. And so that is my hope for you, my friend, as you, as you enter into that playlist, I hope that, that there, there are journeys into difficult places you will find. It is not, it is not always easy listening. Um, I think you will find some uh, complex compositions, some complex chord structures, complex, um, you know, odd time signatures in places. There's a lot to chew on in there. And also, there's some really funny stuff. <laughs> Tonight we have lots of very, very smooth dancers. Mm, that was the show. And also, much of my work embodies simplicity. I left music school so that I could become my own orchestra and my own writer and my own composer. I'm an autobiographical songwriter, hopefully writing of the self now on, on the universal stage in a universal context. My songs sometimes are about my relationship with you, um, past relationships. I, I've come to love all of you. <laughs> this is what forgiveness has brought into my life. And let me tell you, it hasn't been easy. <laughs> as it has not always been easy for you to love me also. <laughs> Welcome. It's nice to meet you. This Friday only at the Red Door in Clovis, New Mexico, the Hip Slingers, Desert Flames, and Travelin' Trav's Transrational Blues. Come on, y'all. The glimpses that I got of this album while I was in the studio really impressed me. There's lots of odd time signatures with these flowing uh, harmonies over the top of these things. Uh, yeah, check it out, please. Support Ebb and his family. 